We're following a number of other stories happening across the bluegrass today. Tyler Melito's in studio with your news happening now. And Tyler, I can only imagine how crazy the airports are going to be for Derby very soon. Well, Krista, it's funny you mentioned it because I'll actually be flying out of Louisville's airport on Friday, so I'll let you know how crowded it is. But with the Kentucky Derby only days away, spectators from around the globe will be making their way to Kentucky. At Bluegrass Airport here in Lexington, officials expect heavier than normal passenger volume through TSA checkpoints on Sunday and Monday following the races. Right now, TSA is working closely with the airport and airlines to ensure they are ready for the increased volume. This afternoon, a more than 500 hour journey into software development will end for some students. Back in January, a group of aspiring software developers began their journey of intense hands-on learning in the Awesome Inc's Web Developer Bootcamp. Today, the students will present their final projects to a group of tech company executives, local software developers, and other members of the Lexington tech community. And you teased it earlier, the Woodford County Humane, Humane Society, wow, I can't speak today, that's how excited I am for this, is setting up a training track for their Ken Puppy Derby event. The cute contenders will prepare for the pup run once crews are done. There will also be a group training session this afternoon, as well as adorable chaos. I mean, look at that, those pups are so cute. <laughs> the Ken Puppy Derby kicks off this Saturday at 10 a.m. at Falling Springs Park. That was your news now, Krista. You're right, I am also very